F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. Welcome back, fam, to F double R friend request reviews. Today, we are bringing back that power. We had a nice little week break from season one, episode eight, but now we hear season one, episode nine titled trust so okay. i trust and i hope and i pray that they got their stuff together and that they give us a banger today um but i do remember you know tommy found out about jp's son so mm -hmm. that's some definitely some trust issues right there okay and vic probably gonna have some trust issues uh with both his father and tommy you know after uncle paulie told him that they met and then glow got hit yeah so you know, we we can see some things today. How you feeling over there, Bradley? Um, yeah, man, it's a you know, it's always a blessed day when it's power day. But yeah, you you hit it on the head, man. Um, not only that, we also have Tommy, his trust between Walt because you remember he, um, you know, signaled to to Tommy that he was gonna hit Glow and Glow end up dying, so he could be like. You know, pointing all his frustrations towards Walt, you know? So, mm. I wonder how that's going to mm. play out. And also, Vic, too. Yeah, like, Vic, he could sway either way. But the mm -hmm. thing but the thing about it is, is this. Who who called the hit? Was it a was it, was it a, a hit hit to kill her? Or was it the serves just retaliation? It could go either way. You feel me? Because, you know, Walter told... Um, he told Paulie, you know, to, to stop the hit. And Paulie was like, I never mm -hmm. started it. But then, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. It kind of... They threw that in there for a reason. Like, you feel me? Yeah. There's there's things to be played here. Yeah, like, there really is. Like, like, I, like Paulie... Like, some would say that Paulie might be more loyal to Vic than to Walt. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, because... Mm. Uh, he might see him Because Vic son. is actually blood. Because Vic is actually blood. Okay. You know? Paulie is his... That's his actual uncle. Like, okay. I where, see what you're from the mother's side. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. So, uh, there's some interesting things that they could play with here. So, let's let's just hop in and uh, see what Trust has for us. So, with that said, go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and drop us some comments. Let us know how Power Book 4 is treating you. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. The goal is 1K subscribers. So, click that button. Click that bell and get notified when we go live. Let's Giddy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power, power. See who gonna point their frustrations. Who, who you gonna blame for this, huh? Right here, split again. You right. This is the. Uh, best this shit of... came in hard today yeah. for some reason. Like. <laughs> 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 Okay, it's pretty pay? good for the price. For the price, yes. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Damn, he going through a Max Payne moment. For real, like, this shit. shit. Fuck it. Mm, he did not have a gun out the hole like this. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> they gave him a bigger like hole this time. They knew you was frying last <laughs> time, bro. I actually like that open. That, that was, was kind of dope. That though. was. I like that. Uh, the visuals on that. Pretty dope. Mm -hmm. This is what time. you wanted. Mm. Wow. Are you happy now? Come on, big wow. thing. Why would he make the Serbs do it? Well, I never said it wasn't half to see that you're still fucking alive. Mm. Hey, that's that was the fucking Serbs. Okay. Okay. So Vic ain't gonna blame nobody. He he said fuck it, it's a Serb. Well, at least not Tommy or what? Yeah. It looked like he. Tommy Egan. Oh. He's the one that set you up. Mm. No, no, he, Think he told me about Gloria, about you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yep. Two, this two could play that game. Word. You think uh, I would put you through this torture for him to break you to make me weak? He, he twisting. He is. <clears throat> he twisting it. This is um, he getting in his head. Choosing you over him. Mmm. Damn, what? She's gone. Duh. 
I know, boy. I know, right? I don't think you have. In the first grave, I'm reserving for Tommy Egan. Mm. Damn. Come on, Vic. Really? Now I'm feeling like what? Well, maybe this set this shit up. Like, just sever some ties. Oh, he had some count money. Yeah, I, told, I knew he wasn't going to have a cookie. Good with on, numbers. Just, it's much better. These bills smell real bad. It really makes me wonder, like, what kind of freaky shit people be doing with these? <laughs> <laughs> smell like Pedussy. Dollar bill? It got more germs on it than a public toilet seat. Think about that shit. I thought I don't. <laughs> For real. <laughs> he, he, he like, bruh, I deal with money all day. I don't want to think about that. You know what? I used to know somebody like you, though, once. Yeah, who? Yeah, could do figures in his head. I was buried in a book. Word. What'd he do? Same shit I do. <laughs> now he dead. You're me. I'm just saying you young. Okay, you he's still trying to, to get him out of this. I guess. Don't end with a bullet. I mean, I... some truth. <laughs> He's yeah, and that's probably the safest place for him too. Like, and, so he keeping him out of trouble. Yeah, like. but we, you know, we gotta put this into context. Tommy knows about him, like now. You know what I'm saying about JP? Yeah. So it's like that. He really trying to. Yeah, I, I see what yeah. Tommy doing. I see this. Dropping Dolly in Walter's front yard is gonna knock his head all the way back. Mm -hmm. yeah. You want me to roll up there with you? Mm -hmm. No, she I'm said good. yeah. I'm <laughs> That's sweet though. I really she funny. She re she really remind me of a Boricua from the east. <laughs> Could you stop? That? <laughs> Especially when she <laughs> said for reals. <laughs> Should be dropping it off for right reals. about now. My homies go so hard they medicate. I like watching you move. I like being watched. Oh, there she goes. She got herself another yep. little bunny to bring home. She got to stop playing with her employees, though, man. For real. She always messing with business. Yeah, I'm busy, so. Vector's been shot. Come home. Huh. He's pretty banged up. Now, he, how he going to wheel her in? He's in shock. Can't believe Gloria's dead. It's a fucking tragedy. Is it what? Is it really a tragedy, though? Know? <laughs> They'll always come together no matter what. You tell them now. Tell them that. Family over every time. That's us. Mmm. She not feeling that. She mad at Walt. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> I mean, she probably think he has something to do with it. He didn't say it was the Serbs, so. Fucking Serbs. Okay, there we go. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! They finally answered something. Uh, <sighs> I can't believe Vic really bought that. Like, come on. Vic Lim was ambushed last night. I like that he bought all this cereal. Remember, she was complaining about stuff to eat. Now he got like eight boxes of cereal. Vic's alive. You could have fucking started with that. Oh my god! He finally went shopping. <laughs> yeah, this is my favorite. Decoration, not nutrition. No, Nina didn't say anything about a girl. Oh. Oh, my God. How well you know her? We was kind of kicking it. Is oh. <laughs> Kind of kicking it. Even with Big Flynn's girl? For a minute, but it... <laughs> Why do you think she was with them? Because I was the one that was trying to save them. Who you calling? <laughs> you call what? No way. I don't need you by my side. It's hard to shake off a lifetime of seeing the world in a certain way. But I promise you, I'm going to try. It's too late now, though. She got her own thing. And it's about to overtake your shit. Did he I know need you to do for me. Sir. He playing his cards she right now. Do not let him anywhere near Egan, ever. Mm. You really trying to cover your... The last thing you need is Victor going after him. <laughs> Cause you know Tommy was splatter his ass. <laughs> Two missed calls. That's oh, okay. Shine. The only people who matter to me are in this house right now. That's your word? Is that your word? Are you are you double O right now? I wanna know what the she, play she is. To... I wanna know what the play is gonna be though. But... Who hers? Yeah. Who's... 
Mm -hmm. Because she's going to have to make a a decision eventually. You know what I'm saying? That is 100% facts. (laughs) I know we've been through our shit. Vic, you're stupid. I don't want to put that behind us. You're dumb. I'm just letting you know that right now. You're stupid. Some people say it could have been Paulie. Oh, he's fucking that made the hit. You. What do you think? Yeah, that's why I was saying what I said in the beginning. Where like some people feel like Polly would have Vic's best interest in mind. Mm-hmm. So there's a split between that opinion too. I'm gonna fucking annihilate the Serbs and Tommy Egan. It's an annihilate. About to bring the IRA out here. That's why we're gonna call the four horsemen. Mm. The four Jesus horsemen. Yo, the four horsemen. Death, apocalypse, oh, war. Oh, shit. I mean, the call. Wow. Is it about to be them two motherfuckers from, from, uh... Oh, this, uh, Bundase? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be them pull up, like... I don't know Imagine. if Tommy can take on them Imagine. motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> they had the meanest plot armor ever. Mm-hmm. Them fools was beast. I don't want to make my mama cry no more. I don't know why my heart gets colder than... Oh, he looking for Gloria. Mm-hmm. Still. She gone, sir. See, what the fuck is you Uh-oh. doing? Uh-oh. Fucked up. Uh-huh. I'm just realizing that. Ah! Uh-huh. You just listen? <laughs> Janard and with a cousin buddy without me. Huh, cut your ass out. Yup. <laughs> D. You my nigga. Your day one. He pulled a gun on him. Stop playing. He did pull that thing on him. Stop playing. (laughs) (laughs) Scary ass nigga, man. Come here. Uh, uh, We know we we can't trust this dude, man. Alright, let's go see him. I got a plan. So look, check it out. This is how this shit works. Damn, what they about to get? For real, what the. And they're going to aim their actions towards Jannard, specifically. I called Kate. I called Kate. Yep. What? <laughs> did you tell her where I am? No. What the fuck did you tell you her? You tell her where I'm in. I just didn't want her to find out about Miriam from anybody but me. I asked you to do one motherfucking thing for me. Uh-huh. Damn. What time he had to tell him? Was he about to tell him about his son or something? I think so. I think so. Shine got bandit. All the more gang got five intentions. Hit him with a shit much flash. The four horsemen. Oh, these are the four horsemen. Okay. I'm like, who the fuck is this? They the super hitters, man. You know. They about to out. They about this the Irish mob. These are motherfuckers from uh, Death to Smoochie right here. What they got? Guitars in them shits? That's the fucking Desperado style. For real. Like. I'm hearing the Irish mob is coming into Chicago. Yeah, the Irish, Irish mob. No, I mean the real Irish mob. Mm-hmm. The real yeah, Irish from mob. From Dublin. Tell me, wow. man, them niggas from Death to Smoochie, bro. They How came she through chopping this, motherfuckers' though? heads off. How did she know this? She keep her ear to the streets. She bought it. Nigga, I should have known he was the one moving down. You fuck. Same motherfucker who sent us to war with the Serbs and got our fucking boy Elijah Smoke. Oh, you nigga about to hear this? When that white boy around. Mm. That's good, because he stay pillow talking. Yeah, he do. Mm. The diamond don't seem like he fell. Nigga, fuck my brother. All right? I ain't here mm-hmm. motherfucking bullshit, boy. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Look, See. I've been playing the long game, dog. He ain't it all. You know? I already took a dive, gave that nigga his confidence back and shit. <laughs> he said took a dive. He's still trying to say that he threw yo, that fight. Yo, <laughs> Fuck Tommy. And fuck Diamond. He don't want none of this shit. He dead to me. Damn. Wow. Imagine hearing all that. Wow. This is crazy. <sighs> I didn't know you was up here. Yeah. I didn't know y'all was down there. Mm. Yeah. They pick back up. You know, when I told this nigga, he definitely did. Yeah. He said, just give it time. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> These niggas look like they in trouble in front of their daddy right now. Mama, <laughs> <laughs> you a zen nigga, D. You know? Love you, man. Hey, 
Love, love you, bro. man. That's Rico, man. Pay in full. Hell no. Pay in he, full. Rico was way more fucking ruthless. Way more what? Ruthless. Jannard is ruthless. Nah. How's he doing? Go. He's banged up, but he's okay. Why the fuck would I know that? Hmm. Maybe you set him up. Tipped off the Serbs about where he'd be. I tried to save him. I gave him a car so he could get the fuck out of town on the low. If I wanted to kill him, he'd already be dead. Exactly, like, he would have did it himself. For real. Gloria. And? Goner. She wasn't so lucky. Was it your father? Mm. Answer me. It doesn't matter. All right, we finna. You might want to consider your source. Mm. Duh. He's he's just putting it together now. The Irish nope, mom in yep. town. Yep. Yep. What All you right. gonna do, At least Tommy? She gave him that. Oh man. At least she gave him that. True, but it was about to. Oh. Oh, it's fucking no neck. It's the cop. Yeah. yeah. No neck. Lock the door. Look at this Goomba head. Funny. He looked like a Goomba coming through that door. He really about to rob this fool. A hundred. He gonna give him a little extra. Here's two. Here's 150. Okay, 150. Instead of just whacking the police officer, he... That. I don't think so. Oh, he went to the herbs. I need an army. <laughs> and you need to know who's coming for you. Mm. It's going to cost you. Give me a number. Liliana. Five million. Done. Mm. Damn. Walter Flynn. And his hitters from Dublin. <laughs> I'll throw in an extra half mil if you tell me who did the hit on Vic Flynn. Tommy. Tommy. Um, Mike. Damn. No she way. Got to bury. Yeah, she got to bury you, brother. You know, when I killed your brother, I didn't get to see his face when I shot him in the head. Fuck you. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, Ooh. a fucking esophagus. Oh, my God. That, 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 that was a fire scene right there. I can't lie. That honestly, this this episode got me yeah. riled up, bro. Yeah, I can't I lie. Gonna hold. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you either. Yeah, this episode's been lit. So, uh, oh man, that. Uh, what's up, buddy? The fuck you boys come around? Oh, 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 oh! It's okay. It's me, Marshall, nigga. Nigga, you ain't got no product. You ain't got nothing in your hands. Kill these motherfuckers. Hey, wait, 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 man. hold on. We got product. The fuck you talking about? Hey, Janard ain't got shit behind that sample. If he did, why he ain't bring more? Mm. Like this. Mm, brick. Give me four more bricks by tomorrow or sit with your connect. Or I can't trust you. D Mac is trying to put that oo-wop to work, boy. I'm telling you, this shit's gonna be crazy. Mm. Oh shit. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. But what was she about to do? I know. Yo, these slippery little motherfuckers, man. D Mac and Marshall, bro. Fuck! Indeed. You know that for sure. But we gonna kill these little niggas first. Damn. There they go. <laughs> there it goes. You did what? So Marshall got a cousin. Nigga got one eye. Well, actually, he got two. But one's looking east, other one's looking west. <laughs> <laughs> Look, so me and Marshall was in a mix with Jannar running coke to Gary. But Damn. Jannar fucked us out the deal. Was you fucking followed here? No. I don't know. No. Why are you tripping, man? This is a good thing. I did this for you. No one asked you to bring this shit to Gary. Running with that trash bag, Jannar, making bad deals, shooting up clubs for attention. Wait. What the fuck you just said? Yeah, I know it was mm. you that shot up the club, Ooh. and I know that JP is your father. Uh. Ooh. 
Ooh. And I'm your uncle, D-Mac. Trust. And I'm your uncle, so D-Mac. Shut the fuck up. We family, D-Mac. Hmm. I knew he was going to run away, though. That's going to get him fucking snatched up. By Jannard. Yeah. They might torture him into giving him that, that stash spot. Now it's on you to tell him. Huh. Hey, what? Wait, fuck that. Yeah. You the adult. You should have been way more responsible. <laughs> okay. I'll do it. Go, bro. Man, oh real. shit! He hit one that of them. It ain't hide or nothing. Uncle Tommy. Damn, JP. I mean, D -Mac no. Did. I had a feeling he was right in the middle of the street. Uh, get up, get up. Oh, Ooh, that's a bad hit. Oh shit! Like this. Come here, come on. Fuck. Come on. That's why I said this season he might not even make Yo. it. <laughs> okay, so what's up? Why you call me? You know the boy that's been shooting up your club? The huh. one with the dreads? He got yeah, hit, skills. JP. He's bad. Well, you live by the sword, you die by it. He's your son. Ooh. Mm. We had this. I've been known for a minute. I was just waiting for the right time to tell you. The right time is the motherfucking second you knew. Now that he's fighting for his life. Now I know it. Come on, Tommy. You from New York. He from Chicago. You can't say a minute. He don't know what that means. Yeah, exactly. A minute, exactly. A, a minute, minute could be, really range yeah. from a minute to... Because he Forever. really know long, long. Like, he only knew a day. Long. One like, day. Yeah, that was like unless, a day. Yeah. Unless the time in this show is completely crazy. You feel me? But mm -hmm. it seemed like it was it a was day. It was like a... Yeah. We're going to war. Okay, big leading. We're gonna need so. every gun and man we can control. Most important of all, Tommy Egan. We're gonna kill Tommy Egan. Right, niggas think we bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. There you have it. Power. Book four, season one, episode nine, Trust. So just how I'm feeling after this one, I actually, I, I, I enjoyed this one. Like compared to all these other ones we've been having, I feel like they really did some things. And I think the reason why is because they kind of started sealing off some storylines that just were dragging out too much, like figuring out Vic and Glow's love story. Mm -hmm. Like now that she dead, Boom, we don't need that no more. Diamond finally heard Jannard being the pillow talker that he is. Yep. So we're finally going to see the division of CBI that we've been waiting for. So like, I feel like they finally like got rid of those things. And that's why this uh, episode felt so good. Because yeah, we were I able agree. to focus on what the hell we've been needing to focus on. Yeah. Which is the expansion of Tommy's power. And how that all plays into the effect of everybody that he's been dealing with in Chicago. So I, I, I like this episode. How you feeling over there, Bradley? It was a great episode, man. Like you said, things that we've been wanting to see since the beginning are finally being played out. We we talked about Claudia and Vic possibly, you know, joining with the family. We we, we thought it was going to be um, Walter's death that brought them together. But no, it was Gloria's death that uh, brought them together. So there's that. And then we have the JP situation finally coming to somewhat of a conclusion he finally figures out who mm -hmm. his son is so they yeah this episode did a lot of things that we've been waiting for for a while so i have to agree this episode was a good one in my opinion definitely a good one yep, yep. let's get into it man. <clears throat> i was yeah let, let's get into it. i don't even honestly know where to start because there, there were yeah. a lot of things that i kind of thoroughly just enjoyed mm -hmm. like small things as well as some of the bigger things um I guess I could start with Walt. I think Walt was playing a really smart game this whole episode, like a phenomenal game this whole episode to finally uh, weave his family back in. Because yep. honestly, that's what he's been trying to do these whole first eight episodes is he, he, he has he has this control, this overbearing control that his son and daughter are trying to get away from. Yep. 
um and, and it got to the point where he he kind of pushed him into tommy's arms and we even spoke about that i remember i was just like i think claudia might even pick tommy over uh walt yeah because he's putting her under his wing whereas walt exactly. isn't exactly but walt used that this episode he was just like i'm gonna teach you the business now like so i think he, he made some really really smart moves to pull his kids back in and be on his side like and try to take but, Tommy out of the game. But this is the big question, though. Do you really mm -hmm. think he's the man who called the hit, or do you think it? Do you think the Serbs were doing this on their own? Me personally, I. It's tough. That's a tough one. It is. I'm still feeling like I'm. Like I feel like he can. I feel like he could have. Like he could have did the hit, but even if he didn't. He's playing the opportunity perfectly. Like mm. he, he's playing the, the opportunity that it created for him. He's playing yeah, it yeah. perfectly. Like, but I, I feel like because the the Serbs, it, would, it would be a nice play because we had the interaction between Tommy and the Serbs, which I thought mm -hmm. was a great scene. Okay, um, perfect. And so that that scene kind of makes me tilt the other way. Like maybe the Serbs did do that on their own, or right. But I don't know. I still feel like Walt. Overall, that was his mission from the beginning, was to try to pull in the the you know the family together, and mm -hmm. I don't know I I don't know I still feel like somebody else like maybe gave may, green light maybe maybe like maybe Walter gave him the GPS you know maybe as small as that you feel me like but I don't know I don't know so it. It has to be right. It's tough. Yeah, it, it is tough. Now it is it's it is tough, tough because, tough. like you said, the scene between Tommy and Merkovich, yeah. uh, which which Merkovich is kind of growing on me. I still don't think he has the the <laughs> vicious like presence, but he he's kind of growing on me. But um, but that scene, you're right. It it, it does kind of like mess with my head too. I'm just like, dang, like unless Walt like put out the hit like anonymously which i don't think people do like why would you take an anonymous yeah. hit right that's kind of fishy mm -hmm. but i feel like if he did like if he actually sat down with murkovich it was just like yo do this like i don't know if murkovich would have embraced tommy the way he did but at the same time this could be a power play from the serbs by saying fuck it i'm gonna just you know because the Ser i don't know man yeah no man, it's i don't so know tough. it is tough because like i, I because think he gave think, away like, his boy so easily like and he did. And it was just like man, that that point right there was just a a pivotal point because it's like damn, he was willing. Because I but, feel like if he did that, he he would be willing to tell him like, oh, you know, what it is because he act. Tommy literally asked him like, who did this? And he looked at boom right there. So I don't I don't know, man. It, it it's um, it's tough, but I think you might be right. It might be that Walt is just using this opportunity that's come up. And yeah. just use that in his benefit. Like it really, it's really working in his. I mean, favor. what if he did have a sit down with Merck though? I, what if he did have a sit down with Merck and Merck? And this is even better. It will make it exactly it make because it this is Merck. Because if he did sit down with Merck, bro, then this, this is Merck doing a power play in his own. Yeah, man. it is because he's like, fuck it, I'll sit down with Walt and take that, right? And I'll take out Glow and whatever. Mm -hmm. And then now I'll help out Tommy to take out Walt. Yep. Because at the end of the day, Tommy's a huge threat. Like everyone, we understand that. Yep. But I assume a, a whole family yeah. is a bigger threat than Tommy, right? Yeah. So like if Merck works with Tommy now to take out Flynn, then this could be good for the Serbs because now the Serbs are also protected. Because they under the heat too. Yeah. Because like this could be, nah, that's the thing. They under the... Walt wants to take them all out, like so he couldn't have sat down with Merck and and, and he could have sent a hit. message easily. He sent he sent one before. Well, that was that's what I'm saying. That was a message for him to retaliate. Yeah, you, though. yeah, yeah. Like I, I feel, yeah, I feel, Walt. But yeah, that's Walt what, took an opportunity. This yeah, yeah, this yeah. was completely the Serbs. I think the Serbs just did this on their own. Like and and Walt picked up on the opportunity. On well, if he either way it happened, it was a good. Y'all let us know job. down below what y'all think. Was the Serbs and Walter in on it, or was this the Serbs themselves? So y'all let us know. Um, yeah, and then we had the, the 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 interesting, you know. Finally, the title makes sense. Trust. Oh yeah. You know, with with Janard, Trust issues everywhere. Janard and uh and, and, Diamond. and Diamond. So it was just, yeah, man. That that moment right there. I really want to know what uh what um Diamond's gonna do. With that yeah. information, obviously we we see he's 
he's pondering, he's thinking about it, like, you know, throughout the day. So I'm just really curious to see how that's going to play out. Because, you know, and now that we've seen that Jannar took retaliation towards D-Mac, and I I, I want to know who was the person who got hit. Was it his boy that he, he just said that, you know, I knew you were going to be the person that helped me overthrow? Was it him who got shot in there or... We don't know who got just a random. Yo, it could be just random, but it could not be too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit, we never know. That shit. Nah, I wouldn't think they would. They'll kill off Jannar like that. <laughs> nah, yeah, not like that. Jannar's gonna. Jannar might go out by Diamond's hand, like to be yeah. honest, like to just to add some dramatic flair to it, like yeah. But I am glad that Diamond's finally heard that because yeah. we've been waiting for the CBI division and like. They just keep playing with it and fiddling with it, and now it's a little bit more concrete. Yeah, like, it is. And it really, it, man, Jannar, bro, he, he, like, I pro I'm probably reaching right here, but I don't know, man. Jannar, I feel like he might have been snaking for even longer than we know. Like, I'm, I'm wondering if he's the one who was behind the fentanyl cut that that got Diamond locked up in the first place mm. and stuff like that. Like, mm. so I don't, I don't know, man. That dude is, a, he's a straight snake, and he needs to get. Yeah, they need a mow the grass, man. Get yeah, this man, up out of here. Oh, and I wonder shit. if Tommy's gonna put two and two together with with what just happened with that shooting too. Like, I'm pretty sure he saw. Think he would though. I mean, personally, it, it was dark, so I know it's kind of hard. Well, because you know, D Mac just told him about the whole, you know, Gary, oh, yeah, thing. Gary he yeah. asked him where you yeah, followed, yeah, 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 et cetera, et yeah, cetera. Right. And remember, the reason why he didn't want to bring Diamond into the Dahlia business is because of Gennard anyways. Like, he don't fuck with him at all. Yep. So. That could kind of, you know, put up the little antennas. And I know it was dark, but you could see, you could, you could see like there was black people shooting. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, and those, those are only black motherfuckers that Tommy's dealing with right now. So, yeah. you know, he, I think he might be able to put that together, and that's gonna <sighs> cause some real, real friction. I, I guess, I guess leaving it the way they left it was a good thing because I'm really curious to see how d mac is doing is he gonna survive this situation so you know that they did some things with this episode man i can i can honestly yeah. say i really did enjoy this episode like it's crazy i did I, if there was one thing i didn't like about the episode was the end okay and it was and and it was something small too it wasn't even like a big thing well, it was just the fact that they it was how dramatic they went out with like we're gonna kill all the fucking sir yeah and okay. tommy egan because the fucking four horsemen don't even know who the fuck tommy is yeah. like they, he should have said we gonna kill Tommy and the fucking. I feel like saying the Serbs was would have been more dramatic. Like they ended and it with like Tommy. and Tommy Egan, and then they, like, I, yeah. I could just imagine they face like who the fuck is that? Like, <laughs> like we know who the Serbs is. Who the fuck is Tommy? Like yeah, I see what you're saying. <laughs> For them, they don't. But that's know. like yeah, a yeah, super doing. small nitpick. Like this episode. It did some good things for me. Yeah, man. It, like, it really has, man. And like I said, we finally got. We finally got JP knowing about his son. Unfortunately, yes. it had to be in this situation because we've been calling. Mm -hmm. I've been calling it. I said that this this kid is in trouble. He he's he's gonna get dead. I'm hoping that he's not though, because he's a good kid. Like you know what I'm saying. He's a good kid. Obviously, he's in the wrong biz mm -hmm. line of business, but uh, he's smart. Like you know what I'm saying. You you can see his childish ways, but man. Yeah. I just hope they could be playing. Yeah, they could be playing with the dramatics with that whole you should have told me the second you knew type yeah. shit. And all he might get is a couple of minutes with his son yeah. on the bed and he flatlines. So yeah. that'll cause like some huge division between Tommy oh, and yes. JP. But I I don't really know what like division between Tommy and JP would really bring to the story though. Yeah, like, I feel you. I feel so you. I hope they kinda don't do that. Yeah. Like, you know, JP still need the bread and stuff. Like, it's going to be that, weird. Like, it, I hope uh, they bring the family uh, together. Like, I hope this. Yeah. You know, I I know JP going to be mad for a little bit, but I hope this brings the family together. And, and, and you know, we start the the Egan business. You know what I'm saying? But, Man. Yeah. You know I mean? it, it was it was a it was a. It was a reasonable reaction, you know. Yeah. And it was it, it wasn't like he was like get the fuck out of my face kind of. He was just like I don't got time for this right now. I'm about to go see my son, nah, you facts, know. So facts. so I feel that. And I am looking forward to the reunion. They keep playing with Kate's name. Tommy's mad that JP called her. I am. And I don't, I don't bro, I, the re, all right, so I'll say this. The reason why I am kind of interested in it is because 
again, Tommy's a mutt, bro. Yeah. Right? And remember, when Miriam died, JP was like, who's her emergency contact? And we didn't get that information. But we do know that on Tommy's side, or at least on Kate's side, is the Irish side. So what if Miriam was a Flynn, bro? What if they related to Walt and them? Like, <laughs> no way. That's why I. That, I'm just saying. That's why I'm interested. That's why no we way. need Kate. We still need yeah. her to come into the mix, nah, bro. I don't need her to come into the I, mix. Listen, we Kate, do. Uh, we Kate, do, man. Kate, listen, if you want to come in and get it back, I'm, I'm. I'll be happy to see a bullet in your head. Okay. Uh, I feel the same way as Tommy does about Kate. Uh, you, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. No. Uh, and then just walk off. If I could, I would walk off right now. Bruh, Kate is trash. We know yes. that. She's a terrible mother. Super trash. But we can't act like her scenes in book one didn't bring, <laughs> like, some shit. Like, every once in a while, like, with Holly, Holly and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah. that was, like, that was because of Kate was in the mix. So, I'm just saying, like, that theory is floating around. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it, it is something that we touched on, like, episode two or three where yeah. i was like yo tommy a mutt and then flynn told him too oh you a mutt like you know what i'm saying like so it would be interesting to see if and and like the whole thing with miriam's emergency contact like they why would they just oh you just blow through that yeah, like, yeah. there's something, something missing there. there so okay i'm just saying i'm interested well um interested. we also had uh no neck going around yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying no neck going around Talking about Goomba, Goomba. Like I don't, I don't know why he hasn't even thought of killing this man. You feel me? I don't know why he hasn't even like thought of that. That would have been my first thought. Okay, we need to get rid of this man. I would have been with, talking with Vic, trying to find a way to get this dude body and off the grid. Like you feel me? But I guess robbing Diamond is the. <clears throat> His first choice? I mean, it low key is. As 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 much shit as I talk about the decision, it, it probably it probably is his only move. Cause think about it, right? A dirty cop that you're paying, right? Put let's say you Vic, put yourself in his position. Mm -hmm. You paying this dirty cop. That dirty cop comes to. All right, I'm. Let me step back a little second. You paying the dirty cop. The dirty cop, at least from what we've seen in these episodes, he he has a purpose, but not much. Yep. He almost let them get get snatched up by the by the the not the rosters the freaking damn y'all know who i'm talking about though the other dudes remember they was at the lot right and then vic even pressed him about that he was like i should have heard that from you but we oh, yeah, he heard yeah, the yeah. news from e right so he hasn't even really been doing that great of a job at least that we've seen so imagine that officer comes to you and then says yo i need your help getting rid of a cop the Flynn already got the feds on their ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, so for them to put themselves out there for a cop that they paying for, like, bro, for all that, we're going to let you take the fall and put another cop in our pocket. Matter of fact, nah. who's the cop that's extorting you? We'll go take him and put him in our pocket and let you take a fall. Or, so I do feel like Seamus had no choice but to do what he kind of did. Or Vic could have been like, go ahead. since I'm Vic, you know what I'm saying? I'm playing the role of Vic. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. All right. You, you serve us no purpose. Now you're dead. Okay. I feel what you're saying. You feel me? Yeah, because like, we could just cut I'm, it from here. Like, just cut you that's off. That's what I'm like, saying. Yeah. yeah. I feel what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. So, I guess, but he should be taking his actions towards the cop that's extorting him. So, I agree, though. I do. Like, he needs to find a way to get him mm -hmm. out of there. Because Rob, like, but I don't know, though. That interaction between him and Diamond, maybe it might have created some some less attention like mm -hmm. the whole we both started out the same yeah. and he threw him an extra 50,000 yeah, yeah, like yeah. I like that like I see he, yeah Diamond he trying to he trying to wiggle his way cause he obviously feel bad he did serve his time 15 years I get it your sister would never recover yep. so 15 years is nothing to what she's gonna have to yep. or what she's going through but um I don't know it would be a nice play to kinda get this fucking no neck off of his back like because yeah. he's really trying to take this dude down and at this point, he's seen too much. Like he he's he's seen too much. Like he know, cause like he knows that Diamond is still you know Diamond for the most part. Like, but at the end of the day, he's a cop, so you can't let him see too too much. And he's been downstairs in the basement, seen the safe, yep. grabbed a gun yep. out the safe. So you know he's getting too close. Yeah, so what I, hope I mean, plays it right. I, damn, you just put something in my, a thought in my head. What if he uses that gun mm -hmm. to like? try to play evidence or something like you know mm. that's just something small that can he can play with like later on 
Mm-hmm. So yeah, man, I, I definitely like that interaction though, because you know most of the scenes with him I don't really like, but I I, I enjoy that scene with him and Diamond. That conversation it was really it was really nice. I liked it, and I, yeah. I enjoyed this episode. It's great. Yeah, it's it was great. solid. And um, solid. just to throw something real quick out there, Liliana think she's a, a great right right hand um mm-hmm. she a great addition to the show I, I you know at first i was like ah what's her purpose i see it now and i i, I thoroughly enjoy every every time i see her on screen yeah um she killing it she do her job yeah ears to the street distro yeah all time she do every she do it all she's all around like. i mean is there anything else about the, this episode yeah. Um. I like the way how like Claudia ran into Tommy seeing Merkovich like, and that was what caused you know, pushed her over the edge. Like little stuff like that. Yeah. Like I like it because it, it. Cause honestly, I didn't think that Walt was gonna be able to fully convince Claudia. I saw that Me he too. had his claws in Vic, but I didn't think Claudia was gonna be able to turn. But seeing Tommy and Merk like definitely pushed her over the edge. Like, so I, I like stuff like that. She's still making a bad decision, of course, but yeah, I did like that they added. Tommy it, like. has all the power <laughs> when it comes to Dahlia, so yeah, she, yeah, she's about to take a huge hit. And but then now, you know, what I'm saying that the problem is with this is she's gonna be with her father. And mm-hmm. she knows the whole operation. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She knows the yeah. whole operation. So that she know could, where the lab at. Yeah. All so that. Yep. it it it's gonna be it's gonna be. I, I see where I see I see the vision now, and I, mm-hmm. I I like I like where they're going with it, and I can't I can't wait. I'm actually excited to see what this yeah. um, final episode is gonna bring to us. Because yep. yep. to be honest, season one wasn't all that great, but I'm guessing you know. This fine, these final two episodes can really set up the next season mm-hmm. up very well if they play their cards right. So I'm glad they yeah. took a week off, you know, kind of cleansed the palate a little bit. And Man. yeah, we 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 back, we back, yo, we back to love and power. All right? <laughs> I agree, I agree. And and again, we and we said it before, like book two had somewhat of the same effect. Like yeah. I don't think it was. Like this, season one, like yeah. Two season one yep, was yep. it was a little it was rough and at first, and then it was like, okay. Yeah. And then season two it was like, okay. So, you know, we might see we might see that uh same thing with book four. Yeah. So good job with uh, episode nine. I'm gonna go ahead and just give my score now. Yep. I'll throw it a solid eight point five okay. from me. How you feeling over there, bro? I was gonna give it a solid eight. <clears throat> okay. It's an eight. Nice. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all, go ahead and drop us some comments. This was a dope ass episode, so y'all better be engaging. Y'all better talk about some power today. Yes. Make sure you like this video, and most importantly, do not forget to subscribe. The goal is 1K, so go ahead, click that button, click that bell, and get notified when we go live. FRR out. Peace. Peace.